Hello, this video is all about the chess concept called X-ray. What is X-ray? Let's see at this position. Here, white takes the knight thinking the queen will die and this will lead to a back rank checkmate. But no, in this position, black can actually play queen d1. It looks like the queen is protected by no piece. But in fact, the rook protects the queen through the queen. And this concept is called X-ray, where one piece defends another piece through an enemy piece. Now, if queen takes, you seem to recapture and a back rank mate. Now let's look at some examples where X-ray leads to checkmate. First one, white to play and deliver a mate. The black king is completely stuck. All the squares around it are covered. All you need is one check. You think pawn push should deliver the mate, but the rook covers it. But in fact, the pawn push is possible because the queen is covering g4 through the rook. Push the pawn, rook takes it, but then the queen comes in delivering a mate. Next one, white to play and win. This diagonal is covered by the bishop. If this bishop could jump in, it would be a mate. But this bishop is there. So here, white can actually sacrifice the queen. And this queen is protected by the bishop through the x-ray. Bishop takes, you take back and deliver a mate. Another white to play and win. The black king is stuck once again. All you need is a check and he's dead. So the move here is to sacrifice the queen on s7. The queen seems dead, but the rook protects the queen through the x-ray. Rook takes, you take back and it's a mate. Next one, white to play and win. The knight and the queen are attacking the square. But the bishop protects it. How is this not a mate? It is a mate. The bishop on g2 is attacking the pawn through the bishop. X-ray bishop. Sacrifice your queen because your bishop is there. Another one. White to play and beat up the king. The queen wants to hop in and deliver the mate. But that square is covered by the rook. And that square is also covered up by your rook. The X-ray rook is there. Sacrifice the queen. Do not worry. Your rook is there and a mate. A tricky one. White to play and win. The queen cannot go here or here. The rook covers it. So you distract this rook by bringing in your rook. Broken out. Take it. It's a mate. And if now black makes a queen, what do you do? Do not take the rook because black can sacrifice and win the game. Here you can deliver the mate by sacrificing the queen on h8. The rook covers the square but also your rook covers it through the x-ray takes takes and a checkmate next one white to play and win here black king is stuck so if there's any check from this side it'll be a mate you want to go in and deliver the mate but the rook covers it so this seems impossible but in fact that is possible move the queen here the queen is protected the queen is protected by the rook through the x-ray chop chop and a checkmate another white to play and win you want to chop off the rook and hoping the black takes with the knight and deliver the mate but that is not gonna happen here black will take with the queen and save the game so in fact in this position you can just jump in with the queen and this square is once again protected by the rook through the x-ray takes takes and another mate now we can look at some examples where we use x-ray to win material first position white to play in this position if you chop off the rooks thinking you'll win the c7 pawn but no, black can take your pawn and in the end, 4 versus 4, just equal. So in fact, in this position, you do not need to trade the rook, but simply take the pawn. The knight can chop it off and this knight is protected by a rook through the x-ray. Next one, white to play. You want to take the bishop, but the queen protects it. But in fact, you can take the bishop because your rook is protected through the queen. Another white to play and win. The rook wants to slide in and attack the king, but the queen covers that square but in fact you can do it the queen cannot take it your queen protects the rook through the x-ray and once the king moves the queen will die and if the queen blocks it you chop off the queen another white to play and win do you take the knight or the bishop which is the way if you take the bishop that does not work you think black will just simply take off you'll take the knight win the rook but no black has a defense here black can first take the bishop and it's just equal. So you need to take the knight first. And after king takes, you take the rook. The rook is protected by the bishop through the x-ray. Takes, takes, and one extra piece for you. Another one, white to play and win. No pawns to save the king. Check him out. If the king goes to the last rank, rook goes in. 
queen blocks and a free queen here black thinks he's safe block it with the queen but now now you have rook check the rook actually goes in the rook is protected by the queen through the x-ray another one white to play find the win white starts off with a check the queen cannot be taken you take back bishop attacks both the rooks and one of them will fall so black moves the king and now you chop off that bishop because that rook is protected by the queen x-ray takes stakes still the rook is protected and one free piece and you win a tricky one white to play the queens are attacking do not trade first give a check the rook cannot be taken because the queen falls off and now if the king moves you can actually just take the rook the queen cannot take the rook because the rook is protected by the other queen through the x-ray and the queen cannot take the queen because the rook protects the queen through the x-ray double x-ray from both the sides now we're gonna look at some crazy tactics with the x-ray first one white to play and win the rook protects the queen the queen protects the rook and the queen protects the knight everything is protected but no white jumps in with a knight sacrifice the knight attacks the king and the queen has to be taken and then the rook strikes the rook is protected by the queen through the x-ray king moves and the queen dies next one white to play and win you know the x-ray concept you want the queen to go in in protected by the rook x-ray and deliver the mate but the knight covers it remove the knight chop it off and once the knight is gone the x-ray strikes takes takes and a mate another one white to play and win black is on the attack mate is coming you need to rush it if this rook was not there you could go there and with the power of x-ray king would get mated remove this rook and the rook goes here the rook attacks the queen the rook gets chopped off but then the x-ray strikes takes takes and a mate another one white to play and win the king is completely stuck one check and he's dead if this knight was not there queen would go there give a check and with the help of the bishop x-ray it's a mate remove the pony sack him takes and the x-ray strikes this square is covered with the help of the bishop takes takes and a mate another crazy x-ray white to play this square seems to be covered by the rook but no the rook protects it through the x-ray jump in with the queen once the queen gets chopped you take it out and the king is stuck the file is covered back rank is coming the other rook goes in Stop it, eat it, stop it, eat it, and beat up the king. Another crazy back rank mate? white to play and win can you take the rook maybe the rook x-ray is there yes it is there chop off the rook if rook takes you simply take it and win the queen and if the queen takes you take the rook and it seems two rooks versus one queen is not enough but in fact the black king is so bad wherever the queen goes here there wherever doesn't matter the queen will move and the rook will go there pin the queen win the game here white is on the attack how does he do it the rook is lined up the queen and rook are fired up what is the move the move is to launch in with the bishop move four pieces are attacking this dummy the rook the bishop and two pieces through the x-ray and now if black tries to chop off the queen do not be a dummy don't take the queen you get back rank mated and you start crying know your x-ray and chop off the bishop Queen takes, rook takes, and a mate. Last one before the test, white to play and win. Here white starts off with the rook sacrifice. If the pawn takes, the bishop delivers the mate. And if the bishop takes, you give a check with the bishop. The bishop cannot be taken. The queen x-ray protects it. Block it with the bishop, then the rook slides in. The bishop is attacking it, the rook is attacking it, and the queen is covering it. It's over. Block and the queen dies the pinned bishop cannot save the queen and it's all over now it's time for the test time for you to use your brain and solve some of these first one white to play in this position it seems like the white queen is cooked no square for the queen to go it's dead time for you to resign and start crying no there's a way to save the queen and that is with the help of x-ray the move is bishop here the bishop is protected by the queen through the x-ray if the king moves you take the bishop and if we trade the queen lives and you're exchange up and winning 
another white to play and win the king is boxed in all you need is one check you want to push but the pawn covers it but in fact you can push it because the bishop protects your pawn through the x-ray takes takes and a mate x-ray in the end game white to play and win the black queen attacks the king and the queen do not be stupid and take the queen the pawn will run away and you lose now it's the time for the x-ray to strike push the pawn the queen cannot take it because the queen protects the pawn through the x-ray but the queen has to take the king is blocked in takes takes and a mate last one and we're done white to play and win you see a free queen you chop it off and you get mated and start crying don't be greedy be smart and take this pawn the queen is protected by the bishop through the x-ray if the queen takes you take it out and you win the rook and if the king takes you still take the queen give a check and still win the rook